Hello, uh, my name is Jay Smith, and today we're going to be making the larder batch. Uh, the larder batch cocktail came around um, mainly when we were sitting down with uh, my fiance having dinner in a steakhouse. The idea was while we were sitting there, I wanted to get that emotion, that feeling of sitting down with a beautiful glass of Pinot Noir, having some steak, having those flavours, and then sitting down afterwards and enjoying a nice little bourbon. How I'd always finish my meal and trying to bring all of that together into a drink. So when people are pouring this drink or they get to try it or I make it for them, I tell them a little bit about it and why it came around and what, what the drink is. And, you know, I like a drink for the story or a little bit of history, and if it doesn't have either, for me, it's just a drink of drink. So, all right, we're gonna start with the mixing glass. It's a twist on an old fashioned. So keeping it very simple, the idea is when we start, have a Pinot Noir reduction, which is uh, Pinot Noir from New Zealand, I'm sorry, for the French purists out there, uh, with pink peppercorns and cardamom, cooked for quite a long time, for about an hour, hour and a half, on a medium heat. And we're going to start with 15 mils. Right. And afterwards, because it's an old fashioned, you always have to have a good bourbon for me. So 60 mils, four raises small batch bourbon. Just throwing in there. So once you've done with that ingredients, every old fashioned needs a little bit of Angostura. So one dash of that. So like an old fashioned, like I was saying before, you have the bourbon, your Angostura bitters, and instead of sugar, we're adding the Pinot Noir reduction. So now we're done with that. So we're gonna give this a nice little stir down. I usually find about 30 seconds with it. Because you're just trying to get a nice bit of chill. Sit there a minute while I get my glass full. In the glass, we have a lovely round ice pool. The larger the ice, the less dilution. And because you have quite sweetness, the elements of this is quite sweet. And this is also quite sweet. So we need a little bit of balance. And that comes from a little bit of citrus just to kind of break that up. And then we'll just trim that down. Just to make it look a bit more elegant. And there we have it. That is the larder batch. Thank you very much.